Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you two messages of Our Lady to Pedro Regis. Since 1987, Pedro Regis has received over 4,900 alleged messages from Our Lady of Anguera in Brazil. Much ink and time have been spilt over these messages by various specialist writers, journalists and researchers, and a commission has been established to evaluate them. Archbishop Zanoni of Fera de Santana, the diocese in which Anguera is located, is broadly supportive of Pedro and has in fact appeared with him publicly to bless the pilgrims. A message of Our Lady Queen of Peace to Pedro Regis on April 2, 2022. Dear children, I am your sorrowful mother, and I have come from heaven to help you. Listen to me. Lack of zeal for the sacred will lead many souls to perdition. You will see horrors everywhere. The great shipwreck of faith will lead many consecrated people away from the truth. Pray. My Jesus loves you and awaits you with open arms. Give your best in the mission that my Lord has entrusted to you. Do not seek the glories of this world. Everything in this life will pass, but the grace of God within you will be eternal. Take care of your spiritual life in order to be great in God's eyes. Have courage, faith, and hope. Whatever happens, do not retreat. In everything, God first. I know each of you by name and will pray to my Jesus for you. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once again. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. And on April 7, 2022, Our Lady said, Dear children, I ask you to keep the flame of your faith burning. Faith is the light that illuminates your journey in these times of spiritual darkness. Believe in Jesus. In Him is your true liberation and salvation. You are heading for a future where there will be few men with the courage of Peter, but many with the courage of Judas. Be men and women of prayer. Love and defend the truth. Seek Jesus through the sacrament of confession. This is the time of grace for your lives. Do not forget, your victory is in the Eucharist. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once again. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Brothers and sisters, please see the description below for our 24-7 prayer rooms and links to our Telegram, Facebook, Signal, and Rumble pages. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.